Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you're all having a really good day today. I'm pretty excited because today I have a collective Sephora haul for you. It is stuff that I purchased over the last month or so at Sephora and I have been waiting until there was enough to actually bother showing you guys. So that is going to be very fun. In addition, I am feeling pretty happy because my hair seems to have a little more volume than normal. Um, I tried the Bumble and Bumble Surf Shampoo and Conditioner and I really like them. They smell really good and they seem to like fluff my hair up a little, which is something I've been really needing lately. So that's exciting for me and I'm probably going to buy them in full size. But in the meantime, would you like to see what I bought at Sephora? Because I would like to show it to you. So normally I wouldn't show you guys my point perks because that kind of stuff isn't that exciting, but these are some really good point perks. So I'm going to show you. The first thing I redeemed 100 points for was this Bobbi Brown, um, what is it called? Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. So this is in the color Shadow, which is a gray, and I have it here on my hand. Uh, um, so here, it, I'm so organized, aren't I? Here it is with a fresh swatch, and here it is smudged out a little bit. Um, I thought it was brown when I redeemed my points for it, but apparently it's gray, so that's fine. It'll be a good shadow base. Really nice creamy matte eyeshadow um, in stick form, so I'm excited to try this. I thought it was a really good deluxe sample. These are all the other colors it's available in, so it's always nice to try. Um, I have not seen a really good cream stick. I've seen a lot of metallic ones by like Marc Jacobs and by Terry and stuff like that, so that one is cool. The next thing that I redeemed 100 points for is this Lancome um, Mascara Base, or yeah, Super Enhancing Mascara Base. So it's a mascara primer. I have never tried a mascara primer before except for the Jane Iredale one. And I'm pretty excited for this one. Um, the girl at Sephora said that she has noticed a huge difference when she's been using this, so I will check it out. I, I wear a lot of mascara, so couldn't hurt to try this. And then the last thing that I redeemed my points for was this really cute Marc Jacobs Mod Noir fragrance sample. And it's in a really cute container. It's like rounded at the bottom. It looks kind of like a beaker. I almost dropped it on the floor right now. So that is what the fragrance looks like. The only downside is I cannot stick this up on my nightstand because it won't stand because it is rounded. But And if I lay it down, I'm afraid it'll roll. So I'll have to like put it in a cup or something. But... It smelled pretty good. I put it on my wrist earlier and I wore it all day and it's just like a clean fragrance. But anyway, those are just the point perks. So would you like to see the product that I bought at Sephora? I don't know how to do this. I don't know if I should go in like order of least exciting to most exciting or what I bought first to what I bought last, but let's just get into the stuff. So first things first, I got a new Urban Decay pencil sharpener because I was going to buy one at my store, but we don't sell Urban Decay and then we were sold out of the brand that I did want. So I went to Sephora and got this one because I was like, well, if I can't have the brand that I want at a discount, I'm going to get the brand that I really want at full price or something. So these are amazing. I really think the blades in these are superb and they don't mess up the pencils. So I'm very glad I did have one of these, but I don't now. So now I have a new one. Um, Let's see. Oh, and then for those of you who care... I hit rouge, so that was exciting. There's a milestone right there. Um, I'm not even ashamed. I know some girls are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. But you know what? I actually wanted to because I wanted the discounts and the extra incentives and all that stuff. So I'm fine with the fact that I hit rouge. This is the Marc Jacobs lipstick that you get for accomplishing that. I wonder how you open it. Oh, like that. And I think it's a Sephora rouge exclusive color. So it's pretty, it's just a cream red. Um, I wonder if it has a name. So Rouge, of course that's its name. So there's that, I guess I should have shown that with the point perks, but you know, I'm just so organized. Don't worry about it. Um, next I have this Urban Decay eyeshadow in Free Love. I can't get it open now. That's awesome, like seriously, okay. So it looks like this, it's like a peachy gold color. And I'll do a swatch of this one. There it is right there. As you can see, it's just kind of like a golden peach. It looks really pretty on the lid and you can use it uh, probably as a highlight if you wanted to. I don't know. I'm tired, so don't mind me, but I really like the eyeshadow. 
Next, I got the lipstick that I am wearing right now. This is by Kat Von D and it is called Lovecraft. Looks like that. It is on my lips right now, but in case you want to see it swatched on my hand for some reason, I'll give that to you. I didn't swatch the Marc Jacobs one, did I? No. And there it is on my hand. And there it is on my mouth. It's really pretty. Um, it's got a good consistency. It's pretty long wearing. I don't think I even touched it up today, so I, I do like that. I do feel pretty good about that. Um, next I have this Tarte palette. This is called the Poppy Picnic, and it has six matte eyeshadows and one big shimmery blush. I am wearing these two shadows today and this one right here as well. Um, they're browns. The names aren't in the pan. I think they were on that like insert that I threw away so I can't tell you the names of the shadows. But this one is just a good like white and then there's a light brown, a dark dark brown, a medium brown, a peach, and kind of like in between pink and taupe. I don't know. And then the blush is super duper shimmery. Let's see. I put it in a horrible spot. I can't even see it but I have glitter all over my arm from some Jane Iredale shimmer stuff from my store, so there's the blush right there. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I really thought this video was going to be better, but to tell you the truth, this is literally like take eight or nine or something. I sat here saying hi to you guys for like three or four minutes straight, and then I would like fumble or accidentally curse or do something I didn't mean to do and had to turn the camera off and start all over again because I just wanted this to be a one take. So if I don't sound as enthusiastic as I should be for a Sephora haul, it's because I am just so tired of doing the intro to this video, which is long past. And if you guys are still here, the secret word is intro. So leave that in the comments below if you want to. Still have a couple more things too, so bear with me. It's not the end of the video, but we're just, you know, it's, it's getting long. It's longer than I expected it to be, so I apologize. And then I got another blush. This one, you guys have all heard of these. You've all seen these. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop in Heather Pop. And I thought it was really pretty. I'm getting way close to the camera. You guys don't need me that close. I'm like leaning in to see the product. It's like I forget how to do this sometimes. So it's really pretty packaging. It's got a clear lid so you can see the flower shape of the blush. And I've heard people say that these weren't that pigmented, but when I swatched it on my hand, it was crazy pigmented. So I'm excited to try this one. Um, I probably should have picked a different color just because a lot of my blushes are this shade but this one is the one that appealed to me the most, so it's the one I'll get the most use out of. And it's so pretty, it's a flower, oh my goodness. And then, the very last thing that I got, and um, I've kind of been going back and forth on whether or not I should buy this, because I know I don't need it, but whatever. I bought it anyway. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, which again, I know you guys have all seen a million times before, so I won't go over all of the different colors, because there's just no point, but... This is what it looks like for anybody who has not seen it before. All neutrals, all browns of different shades. Totally not necessary, but totally had to have it. So I'm really happy I do because I feel like I will get a lot of use out of it. I mean, I have to wear makeup every day for work, so I may as well have fun with it, right? And with that, you guys, since this video is literally twice as long and half as enthusiastic as I intended it to be, I am going to go so I can take a shower because I'm tired and i got to get up and do it all over again tomorrow. So I thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had a great day. I hope you're all having a really good week. I have so many videos I want to make for you guys still. I have to make a video about Plexus, which is a brand of um, supplements, I suppose, that my friend Sophia represents. I should probably have a little more information before I make the video just so I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I have a couple products that she gave me to try and I really want to start them but I want to show you guys like the day I'm gonna start them so we'll get into that but stay tuned for that video um I also want to talk to you guys about what's been going on in my personal life my vlogs have been super short and really superficial lately and I've just had a lot going on so when I'm ready to make the video explaining what kind of chaos my world is in I will but you know just bear with me because there's stuff that I haven't talked about completely yet. Um, I'm okay, but there's stuff I need to tell you guys at some point. And anyway, for now I'm going to go. 
and this is just going to be a makeup haul so hopefully anybody who doesn't want to know my personal stuff already ended the video but if you're still here you're super awesome and the super secret word is secrets so if you leave that one down in the bottom bar or the comment section or the thing you know please bear with me untied it if you guys do that then you're probably some of my best best viewers and I love you with all my heart and no matter what I thank you guys for watching and I'm so happy you're here and I hope you like this haul. Let me know in the comments below also what you liked best of all the stuff that I've purchased or what you think of them, if you've tried any of them yourselves, and if you have any recommendations for anything that you guys think I need to try or need in my life, I'll check it out because I like makeup and I get bored with it quickly. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I really appreciate the views and the kind words and the support and just everything and bye bye.